Sister Wives Cody Brown's bad decisions were his family's downfall. Dear loves, welcome to Use a Drama. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel. The Brown Patriarch has a horrible habit of acting first and asking questions later when it comes to major life decisions historically. Sister Wives star Cody Brown made one wrong decision after another while heading up his polygamous clan. From adding a fourth wife to relocating twice to purchasing a property that would cost millions to build upon, Cody appeared to act first and ask questions later. This led to the downfall of his family. Cody Brown added a fourth wife to his polygamous clan. Adding Robin Brown to his family was the biggest mistake Cody Brown could have ever made. Robin brought an enormous debt to the struggling Brown family, amounting to $32,000. The family was still treading water financially when TLC signed them. Adding more mouths to feed, added with Robin's debt, strained their finances to their breaking point. Cody spent more time with Robin, who catered to his needs. He neglected Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown, and their shared children. Robin professed to want sister wives, but acted like a kid who wouldn't share their toys. Robin was also the reason the family moved to Flagstaff, Arizona. She couldn't let her oldest son, Dayton, move away from home to attend college. Robin's helicopter parenting forced Cody to come up with a story about the money they'd make by selling their Las Vegas homes. Soon enough, the entire family relocated to the Copper State, Mary, Janelle, and Christine's kids were uprooted from their schools and the life they built in Vegas to a place where they knew no one and had no support system. This massive shift was all for Robin, who couldn't bear to be away from her son. Cody Brown bought property he never intended to build on. In a second lousy decision, Cody Brown took the assets the family generated from selling their Las Vegas homes and purchased Coyote Pass. The Coyote Pass lot alone cost $820,000. Cody intended to split the property into five parcels for him, his four wives, and their children. Instead of purchasing four homes with the money, which would have been a solid investment, the Brown family was now stuck with a massive piece of land. Before they could even try adding homes to the property, the Browns likely needed to have a site plan, clear it out, install drainage, grade the site, and install utilities. That was all before homes could even be built on the property. Cody continued to rent and buy homes with the equity from their Las Vegas properties and neglected the land. However, the one sticking point for many fans was the fact that the family was getting paid by TLC. Therefore, they likely did have the funds to build. So why didn't they get moving and get on the still empty property was not building all storyline related. Some viewers believe that Cody just acts and reacts when a situation doesn't go his way. This has historically been the bedrock of all of his bad decisions. Sister Wives fans weigh in on Cody's bad decisions. As those most invested in the series, Sister Wives fans had a lot to say regarding Cody Brown's historically bad choices. They shared their thoughts on Reddit about the Coyote Pass debacle. It bugs that they didn't do any sort of viability test check zoning and the ability to get permits, then get a real cost estimate on utilities and the bill that Coyote Pass. Making these huge financial decisions with a bare-bones plan is idiotic," wrote one viewer. His plan was to entrap them, and by that, I mean financially hold them prisoner. One of them has to buy the other one out to get away," said a second fan, responding to the fact that Cody's name was on every piece of property once it was zoned to build. A third fan shared, We've learned since the show premiered that the things they said about their marriage, relationships, and finances were untrue, and that many of the details were added to make them more wholesome and appealing for TV. Finally, a fourth fan exclaimed, There's no justifiable reason for the entire family to relocate in the chaotic manner they did. One wife's child isn't more important than the others, except they are in Cody's world. Sister Wives Janelle Brown finally buys her own property. Janelle Brown recently visited her daughter, Maddie Brownbrush, in North Carolina, and now the news arrived that the Sister Wives star has purchased some property there. It comes hot on the heels of another business venture that she started. TLC star Janelle Brown moved on from Cody. The former second wife of Cody Brown liked Flagstaff and she wanted to develop her property on Coyote Pass long before he wanted. Remember, she talked about greenhouses and food to table veg. In fact, in the last season of the TLC show, 
he seemed to deliberately prevent her from that. Fans hoped that she would sue him for money that she contributed to the family. Since then, she moved on and she's going on doing things without him, it seems. Recently, Janelle Brown opened a flower business in Flagstaff, so the latest news about North Carolina seems a bit contradictory. Perhaps she will split her time between both locations. In time, that will no doubt become clear, but for now, what started as a rumor by Milkle T. Padron seems to have become a fact. Sister wife star buys land in North Carolina, Michael T. hinted that she might soon live near Janelle in North Carolina. Perhaps because of that, the news leaked that Cody's former second wife was interested in property near Maddie Brownbrush. This week, In Touch Weekly confirmed that Janelle purchased land in the state. The report about the Sister Wives star confirmed that Janelle Brown paid $289,000 for a property in NC. The outlet explained that the TLC star purchased a 156-acre property in Chalkawinity, North Carolina, on March 28. Interestingly, it's listed as agricultural land. Maddie, who lives in Greenville, is only about a half-hour drive away. The move from Las Vegas seemed to suit Janelle. Once she arrived in Flagstaff, she fell in love with the mountains and access to a more rural lifestyle. Soon, she signed up to learn more about indigenous plants. And, she loved going to the farmer's market until COVID stopped that for a while. Since she left Cody, she's lived extensively in her RV and traveled a lot. It sounds like she might have finally found a place to settle that will curb her itchy feet. What are your thoughts about Janelle Brown expanding her property ownership to North Carolina? Are you happy that she will live near Maddie Brownbrush? It sounds as if she wants to farm something. Maybe one day the TLC star can sell her own produce at the farmer's markets that she loves so much. Shout out in the sister wives. Mary Brown looks so thin in in picture, flaunts classy hairstyle. All the sister wives are showing commendable transformations after leaving Cody Brown. Christine Brown is happier than ever with her husband, David Woolley, while Janelle Brown focuses on herself and spending quality time with friends and family. Another of Cody's former wives, Mary Brown, had been staying low-key since her separation from the polygamist. However, Mary recently updated fans on her life and adventures, much to their relief. Fans were worried about Mary due to her private nature post-divorce, but her recent update has delighted them. So, what's the latest on Mary? Let's find out. Sister Wives, Mary Brown rocks short hair in new post. Sister Wives began as a reality TV show, focusing on Cody Brown's polygamous relationship with his four wives, Mary, Janelle, Christine, and Robin. However, the family dynamics have drastically changed. It all began with Christine stepping out of her spiritual marriage with Cody in November 2021. After spending years in what felt like a toxic household, Mary and Janelle followed suit. As expected, all three wives are now thriving without Cody. Recently, Mary shared an update on Instagram, giving Sister Wives fans a glimpse into her new low-key life. In the post, Mary sported straight blonde hair and looked healthier than ever. She wore a black round neck t-shirt, accessorized with a silver chain and brown sunglasses. Another week, another road trip. Mary captioned the post. Mary mentioned that she has been trying to follow the universe's directions. The past couple weeks, I tell ya, yeah, the universe is trying to get my attention for something I keep listening, I keep leading into the adjustments, I continue to pivot, she added. Mary further stated that obstacles often force us to pivot, but the outcome can be exciting. This life is all we have, embrace it, lean into it, take all the opportunities, you never know what might be waiting on the other side, she concluded. Sister Wives, Mary Brown's newfound take on polygamy. While on the Misunderstood with Rachel Ucatel podcast on June 11, Mary recalled her early days with Cody. Mary revealed that the former pair met young and entered a plural marriage when Mary was 19 and Cody was 21. Despite Cody's statements about not being attracted to her, Mary said Cody was initially fond of her. She also described young Cody as fun and jovial. Cody's favoritism towards Robin. During the talk show, Mary added that she struggled with fertility issues, but she cherished raising her only child alongside the other sister wives' children without outside help. Mary further confessed that she was not interested in another polygamous relationship or remarriage. 
She added polygamy can only work if all parties equally invest in the relationship. Sister Wives C-O-F-I-R-N-E-D Janelle is living in North Carolina bought $289,000 house. Janelle Brown has always been the most hardworking Brown. Sister Wives fans have found her journey very inspiring. Even when her bond with Cody began to deteriorate, she made her work and kids her sole priority. So, it was easy for the star to move on after calling it quits with her polygamist husband. Over the years, Janelle has been inspiring fans with her never give up attitude and all the new things she has been doing to embrace her singlehood. After having quite a rough year, she decided it was time to make a big change. There were already speculations about Janelle moving on and living in North Carolina from Flagstaff. Well, there is proof now that she made the move official by buying a new house. Sister Wives, Janelle is living in a $289,000 house in North Carolina. It's been over a decade since Sister Wives fans met Janelle and developed a soft corner for her. They had seen her and Cody's spouses suffer because of his bias and unfairness. Finally, they made the decision to leave him. Since then, Janelle changed her priorities. She began spending time with her kids and also traveling to North Carolina for business-related things. Fans decided that as she is no longer married to Cody, it doesn't make sense for her to live in Flagstaff, Arizona. So, they were hoping she would move to North Carolina. After all, she had frequently been traveling there for work, and her daughter Maddie Brush's family also lives there. Well, it turns out Janelle is finally living in North Carolina, and there is proof of it now. As per InTouch, Janelle has purchased a house worth $289,000 in North Carolina. There is not much information about it online, but the property is agricultural and spread across 156 acres. In fact, Sister Wives fans were delighted to know this property is merely 30 minutes away from her daughter, Maddie's house. Everyone is excited to know more about this change in the upcoming seasons of the show. Sister Wives, Michael T and Tony are also relocating to North Carolina to avoid drama. Every Sister Wives fans must know by now about Christine and Janelle's strong bond. Both these ladies have always been close to one another. Their kids are close to each other, too. Earlier, Michael T. Padron, E. Christine's daughter, mentioned that she and her husband Tony and their three kids are also moving to North Carolina. Without revealing much, the couple insisted they were doing so to avoid the drama. This could mean that the Brown family feud has intensified and they want no part of it. Besides, Maddie Brush and Janelle are also going to be in the new state for them. It would be nice for Michael T's family to have more family by their side. Are you excited to see Michael T's family, Maddie's family and Janelle spend more time with each other? Tell us how you feel in the comments section. Do you think the family members will document their lives for the show together after moving to North Carolina? Tell us in the Christine Brown and Bestie Janelle enjoy another adventure. Christine Brown Woolley and Janelle Brown have been great friends for a long time, despite rumors suggesting they had a fallout over David Woolley. Recent events show that these rumors are unfounded, with the two sister wives stars sharing yet another adventure together. Here's the latest on their close-knit friendship. The bond between Christine and Janelle was evident long before their move to Flagstaff. Their trust in each other was so strong that they shared their unhappiness with Cody Brown before making the move. Cody, on the other hand, disliked their unity and blamed them for family discord. Despite this, both women seem much happier now, away from Cody's shadow. Christine recently tied the knot in a memorable ceremony with Janelle as a special guest. A lot has changed since then. Janelle moved to North Carolina and Christine enjoyed the 4th of July without her best friend. However, the TLC stars recently reunited and it seems like old times again. Sister Wives Christine Brown remembers special day with Janelle on Tuesday. Janelle appeared in an Instagram reel shared by Christine. The two were seen enjoying each other's company in sunny Santa Monica, California. This marked blue skies and fun times, putting to rest any rumors of a fallout. Fans were thrilled to see their camaraderie continue. You might be jealous of my day. We have had a lifetime of adventures together. Hoping for many more California is beautiful today. California Girls California Dreaming Santa Monica Santa Monica Pier In the comments section, she praised Janelle's look. Doesn't Janelle's hair look amazing? 
fans couldn't agree more, leaving a plethora of positive comments about the duo. I love how you ladies are still close. The tabloids and rumor mill wants fans to believe there's a rift. So happy it is false. You two are the best. Um, I would have fangirled out seeing you both. Others have failed your family. You and Janelle have succeeded in spite of your circumstances. Brava. Love you both. Strong women hold each other above the water. Love the friendship that you two ladies share. Amazing example for your kids. Glad to see you both so happy. I think it's such a blessing to see you both always happy and loving life. What are your thoughts on Christine and Janelle's strong friendship? Are you happy to see them enjoying quality time together, sister wives? Whip my hair. Mary's new short hair and other hairstyles after extraordinary weight loss milestone. Mary Brown's new short haircut showcases her summer style and her journey to self-improvement. Her evolving hairstyles reflect her changing outlook and confidence post split from Cody. From longer locks to her latest chic, shorter style, Mary continues to inspire with her can-do attitude. Sister Wives star Mary Brown is diving into summer with a short, stunning hairstyle. Mary lightened her blonde locks and her new cropped haircut kept her cool while showing off her slim figure. Mary has worked hard to improve her health and confidence since her split from her husband, Cody Brown. As she finds her footing as a single woman and a businesswoman, Mary is using her hair and clothing to project her can-do attitude. Mary's polygamous marriage to Cody was documented on their family's hit show, Sister Wives. Mary was Cody's first wife, remaining by his side as he married three other women, Janelle Brown, Christine Brown, and Robin Brown. The family showed viewers the positive side of plural marriage despite Mary and Cody's strained relationship. However, Mary announced in January 2023 that her marriage to Cody had ended. Mary has since worked to find her happiness, creating a community and inspiring her followers along the way. Mary shared a photo on July 16 showing off her sharp new hairstyle. Mary had worn her hair shoulder length ever since cutting off her long hair just before Sister Wives began filming. Now Mary has chopped her locks even more with a new chin-length style. She also lightened her hair for the summer, embracing her naturally blonde tone. In Mary's picture, her layered hair is tussled and parted to the side, with a pair of sunglasses resting on top of her head. Mary posed in the car, writing in her caption, she dressed simply in a form-fitting dark tee and a gold chain necklace. Mary looks slimmer than ever, and her new hairstyle perfectly complements her on-the-go lifestyle. As she seeks refuge from the summer heat, Mary looks comfortable and casual in the car, ready to tackle her next adventure. Mary Brown's shorter hair looks so boss babe. Mary wore her hair straight and sleek in a June 10 video. The reel highlighted Mary's preparations for her appearance on the Misunderstood with Rachel Uckatel podcast. For the occasion, Mary wore a black outfit topped with a stylish tan blazer for a powerful business casual look. Her short hair had a deep side part, and her flawless bob represented Mary's precision as she set out to speak her truth. Mary's appearance on the podcast was one of the first times she has opened up publicly about her experience with polygamy. She spoke truthfully about what her marriage to Cody was like and the highs and lows of her relationships with Janelle, Christine, and Robin. The most important message Mary gave to listeners was that she's happy with her life now. Mary set out to challenge the perception of her as a victim, and her power outfit perfectly channels her confidence. Before debuting her new cut, Mary's hair was dark and long. It was heavily layered, with the longest strands grazing her shoulders. Most recently, Mary was a brunette, rocking shades ranging from honey to deep auburn. In a video from November 2023, Mary cozied up in a hoodie for a Fridays with Friends segment with her best friend, Jen Sullivan. Her Mary has experimented with a variety of hairstyles over the years. Photos of Mary before the start of Sister Wives show her with extremely long blonde hair, a look that is very common among fundamentalist women. Throughout the show, Mary wore her hair short, but often in a weighty style that tended to hide her face, masking her emotions. Since her split from Cody, Mary has increasingly turned to straight, angular cuts that match her bold and intentional attitude. Mary's on-screen evolution has shown her gaining confidence and asserting herself. Her hairstyles align with the progress she has made. Mary looks fabulous in any hairstyle, but her shorter cuts display her burgeoning confidence. 
The Sister Wives star looks best when she is feeling positive, and with her newest shorter hairstyle, she is proving to her followers how great she feels. Sister Wives Janelle Brown finally buys her own property. Janelle Brown recently visited her daughter, Maddie Brown Brush in North Carolina, and now the news arrived that the Sister Wives star has purchased some property there. It comes hot on the heels of another business venture that she started. TLC star Janelle Brown moved on from Cody. The former second wife of Cody Brown liked Flagstaff, and she wanted to develop her property on Coyote Pass long before he wanted. Remember, she talked about greenhouses and food to table veg. In fact, in the last season of the TLC show, he seemed to deliberately prevent her from that. Fans hoped that she would suit him for money that she contributed to the family. Since then, she moved on and she's going on doing things without him, it seems. Recently, Janelle Brown opened a flower business in Flagstaff, so the latest news about North Carolina seems a bit contradictory. Perhaps she will split her time between both locations. In time, that will no doubt become clear, but for now, what started as a rumor by Melkle T. Padron seems to have become a fact. A dream for a long time. The move from Las Vegas seemed to suit Janelle. Once she arrived in Flagstaff, she fell in love with the mountains and access to a more rural lifestyle. Soon, she signed up to learn more about indigenous plants. And she loved going to the farmer's market until COVID stopped that for a while. What are your thoughts about Janelle Brown expanding her property ownership to North Carolina? Are you happy that she will live near Maddie Brown Brush? It sounds as if she wants to farm something. Maybe one day the TLC star can sell her own produce at the farmer's markets that she loves so much. Shout out in the what are your thoughts about Janelle Brown expanding her property ownership to North Carolina. Are you happy that she will live near Maddie Brown Brush? It sounds as if she wants to farm something. Maybe one day the TLC star can sell her own produce at the farmer's markets that she loves so much. Shout out in the Sister Wives, Janelle's trip turns sore truth emerges Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is the least probably spouse or ex-wife to complain, even when she has one thing to complain about, each on and off the TLC collection. However, in real time right now, she's bought a criticism after which shares how her latest journey turned bitter. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown, the place she hangs her hat, Janelle Brown by no means made it a secret as to the place she hangs her hat. She's not one to take a seat nonetheless. So, Sister Wives followers observe her travels, which lately led her to the place she calls residence right now. Viewers watched her transfer from a spacious Vegas home to a cramped Flagstaff residence. Then, as the nice and cozy climate blew in, this Sister Wives mother determined to dwell her dream. She spent a complete summer season in an RV. Many Sister Wives followers envy. So, between coming back from Flagstaff final week and heading out to LA to fulfill Christine this week, Janelle had time to deal with the fruits of her labor. This sister wife's mother posted a photograph of probably the most delicious-looking dill relish. She harvested 8 kilos of extra-large pickle cucumbers from her backyard. Then Janelle turned it into 6 quarts of dill relish. So, that's the bitter a part of Janelle Brown's journey during the last two weeks. This TLC movie star mother strikes forward along with her busy schedule as season 19 attracts close to Sister Wives star Janelle Brown is the least likely wife or ex-wife to complain, even when she has something to complain about, both on and off the TLC series. But in real time today, she's got a complaint and then shares how her recent trip turned sour. Sister Wives, Janelle Brown where she hangs her hat. Janelle Brown never made it a secret as to where she hangs her hat. She's not one to sit still. So, Sister Wives fans follow her travels, which recently led her to the place she calls home today. Viewers watched her move from a spacious Vegas house to a cramped Flagstaff apartment. Then, as the warm weather blew in, this Sister Wives mom decided to live her dream. She spent an entire summer in an earth, 